It's EB here and welcome to another Trainsmore 5 route review video. Uh, in this time we are going to take a look at the new Trainsmore 5 route, the West Coast Mainline South from London Euston to Milton Keynes. And, uh, I added a few new clips and then just overall like a few new translations that I think that you're going to uh, enjoy. Alright, uh, if you do enjoy this video then make sure you like, share and subscribe. And let's begin with today's video. So the West Coast Main Line in South is a route run, running between London Euston and Milton Keynes. It runs for 58 miles long and also includes the full Watford DC line. The rolling stock that you get is the BR Class 350, the Desiro Sit Desiros, and the three seven and the Class 377-2 for the Dux Edition players of Transworld Fibers. This is this is the base British route for TSW5. You will also get the class 390 Pendolino. No, as as well for layers from the class 66, 710, and 1972 stock. So let's begin, begin with the route review. So the first station that we are going to take a look at on the route is London Euston itself. You see here, this is London Euston. So the Pendolino that has just pulled in, that might actually be the tunnel. What the? Heck? But uh, yeah, this is London Euston, the uh, the southern bit of the, the southern terminus of the route itself. Route hopping is enabled at this station for like the uh, hold on, let me just get the collectible oh let me just check see really quick i'm not hopping anyway but so this can be route top to great western express south eastern high speed or london commuter it's not a bad design station but i mean Lucky joining during the preview stream, there was a little bit of missing overhead wires, but there's not a lot of missing overhead wires anymore. Let's go and take a look now at the rest of the station. It's quite a massive station, so I'm not going to show you all of it. This is also the start point for the West Coast main line. There's like the shops and stuff up here. There's the modern information board. I have some shops which you saw like on the Peterborough to Doncaster route. Haven't checked that out. The new waiting room. I don't know that's new. And there's more platform. It's that and then like oh, the store. Which there's some bags in there. Obviously leaves out there. Platform 16 down there. As well, heading over down to the platform. There's a room. Got right? to, to get that filled in. Go down to platform 11 where there's a where there's some tree 15s down here. So, so London Euston, Stern as well. It's not so. It, yeah, London Euston. That is London the Euston. Obviously in the new reviews. But now I'm not gonna rate the station. It's well, actually still should I? This will actually be my favourite station along the way. As well. Anyway. Station might sound a little bit familiar to you. But we're at Queen's Park. Yes, if you are wondering when th this route and the Bakerloo line route cross here at London, uh, not not London, Euston, Queen's, Queens Park, so that's why there's an overlap. These are the main line platforms, which I couldn't show on the Bakerloo line review video. Uh, just let you know that the stations between here and Harold and Willstone, I will not be showcasing, as I already showcased some of them in the Bakerloo line review view that I did already, so there's no point. So obviously there's not going to be any point of me just showing you them. We watch this Pendolino pass, should we? There's also like a tube train arriving in. 
and let me watch it go past. There goes into Houston. And obviously we go down here, obviously you have saw this before. It's the same from the Bakerloo line review. Was what? There's a troop train coming out of the tunnel. Obviously you probably already saw this from the Bakerloo line review, but just in case you haven't, it's just a little like 60 second look at Queen's Park. I already showed this. What's this? Is that what the fuck? What's that? Robots rebooted. So yeah, so London, Houston. If I can move. Oh, no, so I'm not even allowed to zoom in on the tube train. <laughs> so London, Houston. No, no, stop calling it London, Houston, for God's sake. A uh, Queen's Park is a nice station. Actually... Stop. Are you stopping at me? That is one full train. Oh, and Wheelstone will be our next station we uh, take a look at. Obviously, I did uh, review this station uh, on the. Uh, on the Bakerloo line review, but that's why I'm not showing it between uh, here and on this review as well, because I already uh, showed it. Is the station. And then there's the up platforms as well. Up, up. I'm standing over the footbridge. Is these the... Uh, this is the West Coast mainland platforms, the fast ones. So independent mean of them, like there's the sidings, etc. Not meant to be on the tracks, but yeah, Harrow and Willstone. When there's oh, <laughs> love a light, it's a nice pendolino passing through. And uh, so this is Harrow and Willstone. When, and yeah, we're gonna move on to our next station now. End is our next station, and this is it right here. It's very nice indeed. This station actually has a very infrequent service. Let me just answer you. We're gonna have the Pendolino again. Yes, we are gonna have the Pendolino again. <laughs> Goodness me, the Pendolino never ever goes away. Watch it going through. That just shows that the train tilt. The abandoned mainline platforms over here. It's just a lovely station. Jeff Marshall done a video on the station. Part of his uh, End of the Line series. That is cool, actually. He's like a photo. That's actually cool. Uh, Obviously, as we move along, we need to get these ducto scar. So, Hatch End, this is Hatch End. It's a. Yeah. That. So, so yeah. That is Hatch End. Look at that. Next stage we're going to take a look at is Bushy. Uh, this is Bushy right here. I've been to. I, this is my second time coming here to a Bushy. This is Bushy, obviously there's the Wofford uh, DC back on no train stop here. I'm mean, gonna stop on that side. It was some Is that Pendolino back again? How many times have we seen this Pendolino with Chase? It's like it's chasing us. I swear these pendolinos keep following us. Uh, so yeah, what's the? Oh yeah, another scarf that I already got. Well, she 
I love the station actually. So I quite like it. Yeah, actually, but although it would be nice if the Halloween would stop. Chase up this one. So the overground platforms are here, and then we just head up. See, overground platforms here. So quite short for the overground. She, but yeah, but she. Next, and honestly, this is a very beautiful station. Actually, I really like the station. I've never seen the station before. Oh, so I have actually never seen Wapat High Street before, so this is my first time seeing it. It's well, in terms of like, I haven't seen real like photos. But wow, this actually looks deadly. I actually love the station. So now, so I really love it. This station just looks like deadly, I have to say. Wow. I actually quite like this station now. Obviously, you can't go up there. Watford Junction? Not, no, I mean, not, not Watford Junction, I can see on the board there. Uh, what, uh, Watford High Street? Nice station. Watford, no. I mean, Watford Junction this is. Obviously, there's the uh, St. Albans Abbey platform. Was that the platform? No, that's the... Okay, that, I think that's the southern platform. So, yeah. Uh, quite a nice station, actually. Nice poster. Posters at the station. And then, obviously, go down there. We're going to go to... Uh, this is working lifts at the station as well. So, we're going... I think we're going to go up the walk. Nice, nice leaves blowing. After all, we'll take a look at the station. Very nice and short. Actually, this was the platform, right? Where Jeff Marshall and his mate Roger were going to ride to St. Albans Abbey to do the Lisieu station. I think in one of the counties, can't remember which one it was. Was well, I literally the train broke down right there on the platform? If you haven't seen the video, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it. It's hilarious. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. It's obviously the other platform. Boom. So yeah, that's literally that platform that... Uh, that mental day happened in the Vishman's Watch. The platform 9 and 10 up here. We're going to take a look at the overground platforms. Uh, just down here. I'm actually going to take the lift up. Don't mind now. Cool feature. That's actually quite a nice design. Oh, no, it's just separate pole. Forget what I said. Waiting room. Toilets. Waiting room. Down here. And then here's the overground platforms, obviously like a little bit abandoned, so... There's no fence going down this. That's a mistake. Yeah. So yeah, then obviously then that's that only. Nice red buses down here. I don't know what model these are. Again, even though I am like a bus nerd or bus enthusiast, if you... I don't know what bus models they are, so if you know, let me know down below in the comments. Now, obviously, here's the uh, overground platforms itself. Again, just the DC. These are just the DC platforms, etc. As well. So, yeah, Watford Junction. So, that is a uh, Watford Junction. I'm decided to take a look at this station, Hemel Hampstead, next. So, quite a. Well, uh, yes, yeah, so. This station actually is not bad. Actually, quite like the first time being here in game. As well. The ticket. That's down there, which we're going to take a look at. I know, more lifts. I think we're gonna actually go down to this side. Oh, right, the lift, look. Doors 
Oh, the lips. Yep. Oh, hello there. Class 350 pulling in, I think. Yeah, I think that might actually be my thumbnail. So, that is Hemel Hampstead. One of the many tournaments along the line. In it, obviously, like, there's a train here in the... That's going down to Euston. Um, we're going to, of course, cross the bridge. Obviously, that leads down there to one side. And, of course, we we'll actually go down to these lifts. Yeah, come on. That's cool. Just lift them all. Doors open. Lift going down. Doors closing. Oops. Well, I'm going to try and capture that mistake too. Doors open. Lift going down. I'm going to try and get it again. Doors closing. You see, it's like a little. Play with this! Okay, Fine. yeah. I'm also going to. Oh, what are they? I'll get against this side. Where's the only gang? Access down there. Annoying. And so, yeah. Dream. Actually, not a bad station, actually. Enjoy, actually. So I'll get to the unbranded 350s in just a second. But yeah, Dring. Definitely not a reference to SCR here, but we are at the Leighton Buzzard station. Here's the uh, like East End the platform. I love these, like, bricks and them. Oh, that bricks. But that brick bit is bricks. Yeah, the platform's up. Late and buzzard, this is. And that looks so good. You have two footbridge. Just let's go there. And then I think you have a, a more modern step free one. Can you actually get. Oh, yeah, you, you can do these lifts as well. Like, really, like the footbridge. There's the fast line platforms. I think we're going to call the lift again. See, wait, wait for it. Here it is, here it is, here it is, and then we're opening. Doors open. Lift going down. Doors closing. What's that? Quite like the lips. And we're gonna head down here. It's not, it, I actually quite like this station as well. Yeah, I actually quite like it. I actually quite like it as well. So, uh, yeah, let me try to get both the pictures in. That is Leighton Buzzard Station. Don't hurt another 350. Keep pulling it. I love it. Right, let's go to our next station, which is Beachley. Here's Beachley. I was like, is this and the platforms, etc., and the Mars and Vale line? Going up here, I think the mass and some bio platforms. And these are the mass and bio platforms. Over there. Okay. That man just decided to be waiting in the abandoned section. Another 350, I think. Another lift which you can enter. How nice. Not the modernist footbridge I've seen. But this leads you out to the Mass and Vale platform. That is the construction site for the East West Rail. That is the construction there. I'm going to find a boat. Not, not say. Why did I just save it? Oh god, that's dumb. Yeah, wow, well, I actually got quite a good bit done. Obviously, then this the. Where are the platforms gonna be for East West Wales? Seriously, like they think that they're just gonna run the class one three nine down the line. That's all you're gonna get. Wow. And obviously, here's the other platform. This is the two thirties. 
Nothing for me. Oh, the old two thirties now, or the one fifties. Obviously, there's down there. That is bletchley done. Finally, we have Milton Keynes. No barriers there. No the mistake added. Oh, that's a little bit weird, but yeah, Milton Keynes. This is it. <laughs> Love that little sign. So yeah, I believe you also have working lips here, which you want to take to the uh, other platform. There's down there. I can't show you all the stations because I'd be here forever if I do. Entrance. Get down. And then we're absolutely going down, 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 down. Nice. Okay. Let's see, nice. here we are. Hell of four, so it's not long. Let's see, here's the 350. Let's see, this end of the platform. Now I'm going to move up this way. Okay, that's the other 350 that left. As well, so yeah, Mil that is Milton Keynes Central done, and that's all of the stations done for this review. Let's move on to the next station, which is the rope, which is the train seat you get with the route. So these are what you get with the route. We're going to start taking a look at the 350. This is the ba this is the main new addition to the route. Let's go and take a look at it. So this is the cab. It's actually my first time in the cab. It's 350. Very nice cab. I have to say as well. Obviously, little buttons all have. I don't know what that means. But it has to be like some. I see the DC. As well, since this is a third rail variation, I don't think he put the DC DC. I think that's it there. Pull it up. As well, yep, uh, that's the cab. Okay, safety systems over here. So this is coach one. Just going to show you two of the coaches. Coach two. Coach three. And the first class is in here as well. And coach four. So, yep, and I have a 12 car variation here just to show you that these can run. Oh, look, 351918, who's sister? Oh, look, the back end yeah. is. I'd be surprised if it's 120. 126, ah, okay, so I'm wounded to the train. And now, obviously, this is the outside of the train. The reason why it's bland as it is, is because Dovetail Games couldn't get the uh, license agreement with London North Western Railway right, for the branding, so that's why like, some of the stations and the brand, etc. are empty now as well. Now let's get the Southern Class 377. If you have already seen me bright and mainline in review, then uh, make sure you take a look at it. As well, when I like, a, I show you the 377 and stuff in that review. Only difference, this 377 is overhead powered, as you can see. And so you'll be using the 350 on services between uh, uh, 
London used to know way up to Milton Keynes, but also like you can do them like on semi fast, fast, slow services. Three seven seven will be used between Watford Junction and Wembley Central. Sure as well. And then since this is the base route for Trains World Five for the UK, there has to be a deluxe con edition as well for the route. So that comes in the form of the three ninety Pendolino, which we haven't gotten before. I already done a separate video just like taking a look at this unit alone one because I've because I got because I managed to get this train before the route. Route, so make sure you watch that video. I'll link it somewhere up up here now as well. What's that? So yeah, that's what you get with like the base route, etc. Regards to the layers for the route add-on, obviously the 710 for the uh, Goblin line will layer uh, onto a West Coast Main Line south to Epson. The what for DC line services, hence why there's DC here between London, Houston and Watford Junction. The 1972 tube stock for the Bakerloo line will uh, be will uh, be add will run between Queen's Park and Harrow Willstone for the Bakerloo line services this is as well. But but as a note, you do not own we do not need to own Bakerloo line. And to get the nineteen seventy two stock, you it comes with the rule as well, but I just have to include it in the layers section as well, since just to let you know the these three plus the three seven seven are not available on eight gen consoles, so that's PS4 and Xbox One, unless you spawn them in. Only the three fifty and the three ninety T come. On um, for the eight gen, so the three seven seven dash two, the seven ten, the nineteen seventy two tube stock, and the sixty six do not come for eight gen console players. That is to say, the three seven seven dash two, the seven ten, nineteen seventy two tube stock, and class sixty six will not layer. Yeah, you know, and will not you will not see on this route if you own the eight gen consoles. Only the three fifty and the three ninety will. As well, oh, well, again, you do not need to own Bakerloo line to get this, you, it will automatically come with the game. I don't know why you need to own Subject line to uh, get the 710, even though they managed to do a 1972 tube stock without owning the Bakerloo line and bundle it in. I don't know why they can't just do that for the 710 as well. And then Class 66 will do freight services. Now, normally they have the EWS variations, this time they're gonna have the DB Shanker variation was rather cool i have to say so it's on and again you don't need to own and again the 66 automatically comes with the route as well so that's what the trains you get with the route as well so obviously the 350 377 390 come with the route itself obviously 390 for the deluxe edition players and sold separately and then the 710 972 tube stock and 66 are all layers to the route and now let's go to our next section, Mistakes. I'm noticing that there's quite a lot of like issues with the route so far. The displays keep saying that there's services at midnight, which is like 10 a.m. There's also like this like route about like the blank stuff, etc. The timetable is very spartan for the what the DC long services. So yeah, sometimes they do run like the actual 15 min minutes that they're meant to, but sometimes you could be waiting up to an hour for the for a service. I noticed that that like. There's not, there's not a lot of fences on the route. There's like something poking out the lifts, a tring, in, and I noticed that someone was behind the fence at one of the stations as well. So there's quite a lot of issues with this route.
this is a decent route overall with its not bad bad scenery the trains that include it are generally nice but the timetable is very spartan and indeed it were almost little to nothing to from the timetables featured in this route i would get this route route at a less than 20 percent discount went rate so generally i don't recommend this route route as well 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 like i suppose if you want it go for it but if you don't and you still want but if you don't want it but you want to have a new collection i recommend waiting for the 20 for at least a 20 percent off or higher your sale this is not worth the 35.99 that it costs maybe it was like a little bit less yeah maybe but nah not for the 35.99 euros but anyway if you did enjoy this train to a full review I mean, train to a five review, then um, yeah, do make sure you uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, enjoy, uh, subscribe to my transport channel, follow me on Flickr, join my Discord server, but do all that good stuff as well. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I leave you to watch this train pulling into London Euston, and I'll see you all in the next video. See you all, take care. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.